Michelle, April, are we good? You want to take this thing over, Michelle? Yeah. All right, cool. Hey, everyone. Um, I just want to introduce our guest speaker for tonight. As you probably saw, our guest speaker is April McDonald. Um, we met at Shalene Johnson's Smart Success event, and I think we met over a game of truth or dare in the hotel bar. <laughs> Pat <Had an> idea. <laughs> and um, I feel like we instantly clicked. She's an awesome girl. I feel like we talk all the time now. Um, just some things about April. I don't want to tell her whole story because I'm sure she'll go into it, but she's a Success Club 10 All-Star. It's a pretty big deal. That means making Success Club 12 months, 10, Success Club 10, 12 months in a row. She's currently four-star diamond qualifying. Um, she worked her husband's account to two-star diamond. So not only is she doing her own, but she's also working her husband's business. Um, she has nine diamonds in her downline. She paid for her wedding in cash one year into the business with Beachbody Income. She fired her boss in under two years, and she's more than doubled her income from her full-time job. So I just want to introduce April. Are you on the call? You got to unmute yourself. I didn't even realize I was muted. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I'll let you take it. Um, so thank you so much, Michelle, for asking me. Um, it's awesome. Um, and when she asked me, I was like, oh, that's weird that she's calling her team Team Boom. And then I just found out yesterday that she was like, oh, no, it's just like, you know, 50 or 60 of us. And I'm looking, and there's like 87. I was like, oh, so it's not just your call. Cool. <laughs> so um, that's pretty awesome. I cannot believe that you guys have almost like 90 people in your car call. So cool. I'm used to like my 10. So uh, this is a little different. Um, but yeah, so um, Michelle just kind of asked me um, to talk a little bit to you about recruiting um, today uh, because I, I've been this year, I've I quit my job in January um, and I've really just been focusing on making my coaches that I sign matter and not just trying to get a discount coach to get somebody in that, you know, position. And that's what you do when you, in the beginning and, you know, you have to discount coaches are awesome. But right now, um, I've totally changed the way that I talk to people. I used to be like, well, um, you should probably drink Shakeology, but if like you have car issues, it's okay. You can cancel it. Just, you know, just sign on. And now I'm like, Nope, it's 115 a month, like non-negotiable, but you can for sure get that all paid for. So I'm not, I don't want people that are going to be like, so can I quit? Like if like it doesn't work, like I, I talk to people that want it, um, full time. So, so that I, um, totally ramble a ton. So I actually put together a little, um, slide because otherwise I would be super distracted and I just, I'm very similar to Michelle. We're both sapphires and <laughs> easily distracted by <laughs> shiny things. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Um, please let me know the last time I did this. Um, there were some times where somebody said that it was freezing. So please unmute yourself and let me know if anything freezes. So, um, okay. So basically I kind of, I, who is drawing? Seriously? <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. How do you do that? Did I do that? Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So, um, I wanted to kind of just basically everything I do is all about being myself and I don't try to pretend I'm perfect. I don't pretend, try to pretend I'm not like a huge weirdo. I put that out there and that's who I attract and I love it. I have people that are silly. If you can make me laugh, like you're instantly my best friend. That's something that's so important to me. So um, this is um, a group of my coaches at Summit, just proving that um, I attract some really weirdos. Okay. Does anybody know why there's writing and how to get rid of it? Because I didn't do that. <laughs> Somebody just commented, it says iPhone 2, but it says, sorry guys, I didn't know y'all could see me draw. I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay. Well, if you can figure out how to erase it, then <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, oh, yeah, there you go. So handy. Okay. Um, so I love this quote and I just feel like it's so important for Beachbody. You have to live now how others won't so you can live later how others can't. 
um, I didn't get here by just being like, oh, just uh, spend like 10 minutes today on beach body. <laughs> like, I worked my butt off and, um, you know, when I first started, I had three jobs. I, um, at one point I was still working two jobs. I was planning a wedding. I was doing beach body. So I would get up, drive an hour to work, work eight and a half hours, drive an hour home, come home, shower, make dinner, work out. Then I would be doing beach body till one in the morning and then I would get up and do it all over again. So it's not something that's just going to happen. You ha it takes hard work. And if you're not afraid of hard work, then you can do it. It doesn't take brains. It, you do not have to be a brainiac. I have said this a million times. I was voted most confused my senior class <laughs> of high school. And, um, I have got, I'm like, I'm a super nerd and I, you know, worked my butt off to get the good grades that I did, but it doesn't come easy to me. I'm that girl that's like studying for my 18th hour to like pull off a B in class. So I just want to tell you that if I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, okay. I just threw this in last minute because as of today, I just had my fourth coach quit her job. So I was super pumped about that. So we've got my sister on the left. Um, my new coach, Danny on the right is only going to coach for two months. Um, and then on the bottom left is Sarah. Um, and she quit her job, um, March. And then Jesse White on the bottom right came home from Summit and was just like, I'm firing my boss. And she did. <laughs> she was not really totally ready, but she was like, screw it. If I eat ramen noodles for a while, I'm going to. So um, this is kind of amazing. And I just goes to show that if you are talking to people about go-getters and you're, you know, putting in the work, other people, you're going to find other people just like that. Um. And I just had to obviously put this awesome graphic that Dave is so handy and put together because I was like, this is the cutest thing ever. Um, but I also, also want to just kind of say it's not, you don't ever want to sit there and compare yourself to other coaches. You don't want to sit there and be like, why can't I just be a success club 7,000 like she is? And, you know, um, why can't I quit my job? Well, I didn't start this. I didn't just start on a roll and, you know, it was all like rainbows and Skittles and unicorns for me. I worked hard. So, um, one of the coolest things that I like to be able to say about my story is that when I first found Kelly on Instagram, I found her because she was doing a giveaway for Shakeology and that's all I used to use Instagram for was giveaways. And I want a lot of crap <laughs> because I spent way too much time on Instagram. Um, so she was running a Shakeology giveaway, didn't win, but I was like, whatever, I'll follow this girl anywhere. She posts some recipes and stuff. And then she just made a uh, post one day and she was like, are you sick of your job? Is your boss a jerk? Do you hate your, do you feel unfulfilled? Are you underpaid? And I'm just like, yes, yes, yes. So I reached out to her. Um, at the time I literally had $7 in my bank account. I was 26. I had my master's degree. I was working. Um, I basically felt like I was folding towels. That's kind of what I got my master's degree for. I was working in a corporate wellness gym and it just sucked. It just was awful. My boss was younger than me. She had a lower degree. I just, I, it was awful. <laughs> I hated everything about my life. Um, at that time I wasn't really, but there was still some here and there where I would have to make myself feel like, um, no, you don't need to throw up your dinner. <laughs> um, I battled bulimia on and off for like eight years. And at that time it was still kind of something that I would have to physically be like, it's okay. You don't have to. So it was just a really bad time in my life. Um, no self-confidence and, um, yep, I considered myself the lean cuisine queen because it was totally healthy and only 300 calories. Um, so that was kind of where I was. Um, I was just starting eating clean when I first signed on as a coach. I had just started getting into that lifestyle. Um, so I just want to kind of show that, you know, when you look at people, like you look at, you know, Michelle, you look at your upline and you think, oh, wouldn't that be awesome to have that? Don't just think that it came easy to them. Okay, so what am I going to talk about today? Um, one, where I find coaches, how I get cold leads into coaches, how I attract local coaches, um, and how I eventually hook those coaches um, 
who has those coaches that tell those people that tell you no every single month, you know, they'll be amazing. And they just say no every time. So I have some, some tips for, for those suckers. Okay. I need to figure out where to move my screen because I can't see my work reading, writing. Okay. Hold on one second. Nope. Can't figure it out. Okay. Um, Okay, so where do I find coaches? The number one place that I find coaches is Instagram. Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. It's like, it's probably 85% Instagram right now. Um, Facebook friends from, you know what, the best, the most coaches from my Facebook friends are, if I would have went through my Facebook and deleted people, um, that I would be like, who is this girl? I'm never going to talk to her again. I wouldn't have some of my best coaches and my best clients. Um, so that's kind of really amazing is those people that you don't really know, they are going to really, they're the people that are going to be like, wow, that April's so inspiring. Like I just, I just really want to reach out to her. I love her posts versus like people that are like, Oh, like your, your best friends or your family are like, there goes April. Oh, some, some stupid with exercise again, or, you know, <laughs> so I love those people. Those like those people you don't really know. They look up to you a lot more than people that really know you. Um, Facebook groups, referrals is a big one. Um, I did not put that in my slide, so I hope I do not forget to talk about referrals because referrals are huge. So if I forget, please remind me. Um, and then in person, I'll talk about how I talk about that too. Okay, so for Instagram, and I learned a lot of this from Shalene Johnson's Instagram Impact. I love Shalene. She's like my favorite person in the whole world. I just want to be her. Um, so Instagram Impact is amazing. It's a hundred bucks. You can split it between a ton of people if you haven't gotten that already. We actually contacted her team, and she said it was cool. Whether it's Smart Success, Marketing Impact, or uh, Mark. Marketing, how to, marketing impact. I can't talk. Um, any of her things, if you get enough people together, you can go in and have access to all those modules and pay for that. And um, because smart success and um, marketing impact are both very expensive. So you would only have two tickets to share, but you would have a ton of the modules available to you online. So, okay. Um, and I'm not going to go in depth about Instagram because, um, I know that you can go on Kelly Hanner, who's my upline, um, her YouTube and find her trainings. Um, my trainings are all on my in, um, YouTube account as well. So make a list of 25 hashtags for your target market. I don't want you to be like hashtag fitness because if you use that, everyone and their mother, brother, sister, dog is using that. And there's, if you are not, if, so when you go to search a hashtag, if you are not looking at that split second when um, somebody uses that hashtag, it's gone. And there's so many people that use it that you will not see that post anymore and you're wasting your time. At the same time, I thought it was like really awesome and in my list of hashtags was hashtag will squat for guac. I'm obsessed with guacamole. And I was like the only person using it. And I was like, cool, April, like that is a waste of a hashtag. So you don't want it to be so broad that you and like four people of the bajillion people on Instagram are using it or specific. And you don't want it to be so broad that nobody's going to see your stuff. So figure out your target market. You know, think about like for me, it's animals, dogs, um, peanut butter, guacamole, um, I, running. So think about those and then do your research and go through and search Instagram and see like, do they have a couple thousand? Do they have a couple hundred, th tens of thousands? Um, and make a list of hashtags, save it in your notes section of your phone, and then just copy and paste that sucker into every post. Um, and that's an, another thing that you're going to use and you're going to search those hashtags to find people too. Um, so your vibe attracts your, your tribe. Um, so basically that's your, what's your, who's your target market? Who do you want to attract? And you're going to make those hashtags according to that. Think about what would I, what would I like to search? One of my favorite ones is love to run. Um, it's not overly popular, but I love going through. I'm a big runner. I love going through and being like, Oh my gosh, you are freaking fast. That's an awesome pace. How was your, you know, race girl, things like that. Um, Okay, so like, so I go through these hashtags that I make, and then I like, I comment, I ask open-ended questions like, oh, how was your race? How was the course? How did you feel? Why, when, who? Um, and then tell them that you, like I go through and I'll like a bunch of their photos, I'll comment, and then I'll, I'll be like, oh my gosh, I just stalked the crap out of you. I freaking love your posts. Are you on Facebook? Because I'd love to connect. 
that's basically what I say every time. I just tell them, I just stalk the crap out of you. I love your posts. You're so inspiring. Things like that. And then they're every time they're like, oh my gosh, yeah. If not, I get their email and then they're added to your email list. Um, don't spam people by just being like, hey, do you want to join my three-week fitness and accountability group on Facebook? Add me. Here's my link. Um, I absolutely hate that with all my heart. And um, I'm sorry if any of you do that. But I was that person that literally I would delete and report a spam every time. I'm like, if you would have taken two seconds, you would have realized that I was a coach. You obviously don't care about relationships. And so I don't do that anymore because I'm like, okay, bro, that's a little intense. But just know that lots of people probably do. And it's not worth using your Insta losing your Instagram account over. Yes, it takes a little more time to build a relationship, but you're going to get somebody that you want to be, co be coaching with. Um, and they are going to know that you're out there to be friends with them because you're interested in them and not just like, Oh my God, it's another beach body coach. Like just no delete, leave me alone. Um, and, and you may not think people are like that, but there is a lot of people that think that. So you need to focus on relationships. Um, okay. So here's how I, um, why don't I have a mouse? I don't even understand. It just, anybody can work this business. I don't have a mouse. Okay. Can't move anything on my screen. Um, <laughs> coaching up. So this was like that picture from summit. And I basically just kind of said like, Oh, you know, I was trying to think about what like common denominator do I have between my team? Oh, we're just a bunch of freaking weirdos, you know? Um, basically like everything I've accomplished. I love it so much. Why won't you join me? Um, and I always do like kind of weird, silly hashtags too. I only do 25. You can do up to 30 in a post. That's why I save some for like hashtag weirdos unite, um, stuff like that. So I try to do stuff like that um, just to make people laugh because again, that is something that's really important to me is humor. Um, okay, so this is another one. I After I hosted one of my girlfriend's team's calls and um, just kind of said like, dude, I just finished a run. I got out of the shower and two minutes later, I hosted a clean or hosted a call with like a mop of pink hair on top of my head. I work most of the days with my husband's oversized t-shirts, not brushing my hair. Basically just like, if this sounds good to you, like you can have this. So I, and I always kind of say like, what do you have to lose by asking? Nothing. So just freaking ask. I'm not going to stalk you. I'm not going to like, oh my gosh, you have to sign up. I even say that half the time, like, I will not spam you. I will not stalk you. I will not harass you. I've been stalked and harassed by like Mary Kay ladies. And I'm just like, oh my God, I need to delete your number. Stop it. Can I block you? Um, so I just like to let people know because I'm sure they probably have that same experience, whether it be beach buddy coaches, whether it be Mary Kay, whether it be whatever. Um, so yeah, Instagram is amazing. And my biggest thing from Instagram is converting them to Facebook. So a lot of my call to actions on my Instagram posts are, if you want to know, if you want to find out if it's for you or not, no big deal either way, add me to Facebook at facebook.com slash april.pankney.5. So I'm really just always trying to get them to add me to Facebook. Um, my Facebook suggestions are just be yourself, um, post every day about your journey. If you're not posting every day, like, come on, it takes two seconds. Get like, just, you're not going to go anywhere if you're not. Um, honestly, since like after my first week, I, there's not been a day that's gone by that I haven't posted and I haven't sent messages because I hated my job that much that I knew that just lollygagging wasn't going to get it. So you may be somebody that just wants to buy a purse or pay for like nice shoes, I hated everything about my life and I knew I needed to change it. So for me, I've just never really let my foot off the gas because now I'm a leader, but I want to train my coaches so that they can quit their jobs so that they can experience that. So it's not like I'm good. I'm making X thousand dollars a week. I'm fine. You don't just stop. Like leaders don't get to just stop being there for your team. So, um, you have to also be still hitting success club. Like you don't just like, Oh, I wear a really successful team, but I'm just going to spend every day at the beach and, and just, you know, make people jealous of my life, but not work my business. That doesn't work either. Cause if your momentum isn't going, your coach's momentum isn't going. Um, that had nothing to do with that. That was just my own personal rant. <laughs> um, ask questions. Um, I do that a lot. Uh, like, it can be, hey, like it'll be a sweaty selfie or something, you know, just got done with my run. I felt like total garbage, but I got it done. Um, what workout did you guys do today? Um, 
or nothing to do with fitness. Like, okay, I'm really tired of my eyeliner being halfway down my face by the end of the day. What eyeliner do you ladies use? Um, but I've kind of gotten away from like face cream or makeup because you get every Mary Kay Clinique, like obnoxious people like go to my link. No, go to my link. And then all these private messages. So I stay away from that now <laughs> because you've got all those people that don't know how to work their business and they're just like, Oh yeah, here's my link. You're, you're good. Um, so if you just think about that too, you might get some, some of those things that happen too. Um, Post often and engage with other people. Um, when you, if you know that people are on your list of like people that you're gunning for, you know they're going to be awesome coaches. You're going to go and you're going to interact with them. You're going to like their photos, um, you know, stuff like that. And then they're going to in turn interact with you. And when you, the more that people like and comment on your post, the more that your posts show up in their feed. Because this is a perfect example. Um, I have people all the time who are like, oh, did you say, see Lindsay Matway's post? Or, oh, did you say Melanie Mitchell's post? Or, oh, did you see this? And I'm like, no, I'm following all of them. Why do I never see their posts? They're like, well, you have to like them or they're not going to show up. You know that. I'm like, oh, yeah. But, like, I didn't, you know, think about it that way. So I have to randomly go to, you know, like top coach uh, post too so that I can see what they're doing. Because I like see seeing that a lot of times it will give you, like, inspiration uh, for a post or something. So it's the same thing. So I do that with my coaches. I do that with people that I'm gunning for that I want to be coaches so that I can see and keep up with them. Um, be happy, inspiring, and just make people feel good about themselves. If you have to start a, a post with, uh, or end a post with hashtag rant over, it's probably something that you shouldn't make and just leave it be. Like be happy. And, and I post a lot. Like I, I make people, cause I, sometimes I feel like sometimes I come across as like my life is fabulous and life is all unicorns, but I don't want that to be the case because I, I, I say I will make lots of posts. Like what you see on on social media is what people choose to put out there. And what I put out there is not my like dirty laundry is not my bad days. I only put out the good days because you have enough garbage to deal with. So I like to make posts like that to let people know, like I'm real. I'm not just like over here, like living the life. I have struggles just like everybody else. Um, like I said, be consistent. Okay. So Facebook friends, go through your Facebook friends and just kind of star and they should, all of your, you can put them onto your list. I always tell my new coaches, make a list of at least 150 coach, uh, people and star those people that are coaches. So you can go through your Facebook list and star those coach prospects. And those are the people you're going to start interacting with messaging, um, keeping on your radar. Um, and then I write one to three down a day in my planner and that's who I'm going to reach out to. Cause I try to reach out to like, um, you know, I tried to talk to at least five people a day about coaching. Um, so compliment, invite to check out the coaching opportunity. And then a little bit later, I'll tell you how I do my inviting. Be genuine. Don't be pushy. Just like, let them know, like, dude, I'd be so butthurt if you like signed up with somebody else and I didn't, you know, at least tell you about it. Like if it's not for you, that's totally cool. But you know, just let me tell you a little bit about what I do. Um, and it's not no forever. It's just no right now. Um, I had so many people come back later. It's ridiculous. I just had a girl today or, um, not today, like, uh, three weeks ago. Um, I talked to her two years ago and she doesn't even have, didn't even have Facebook. Um, when she messaged me again and she just was like, okay, you know, we talked two years ago. I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. So there's been so many people that just come back. Um, Oh, and the go for no story. Um, the more no's that you can give, the better, or that you can get. I have a, for uh, Team Cup, I'm running a, a giveaway for everybody that sends me documentation of getting 100 no's um, in a week. They get entered into a raffle for a free run. My team is Team Run Pink Run Happy. So they get entered into a raffle for um, some free um, tank top shirts, whatever they want. And because if you're getting 100 no's, just think about how many yeses you're going to get. And if you haven't read Go For No, do it or get the audiobook. It's like such an easy read. It's like an hour and a half audiobook. So they were, um, the company was giving away an award for somebody and somebody got an award for the like most like re rejects, like, like he got no the most, he got turned down the most and they gave him a plaque or something. And then the next like, award was who got the most yeses and the same guy came right back up and got it. So who cares if they say no, you're planting a seed, they will come back. Um, and basically just on Facebook, I always say, make your job look fun. Like 
be happy. Like I am always hashtagging best, like hashtag best job ever because it is, I love it so much. And I, I want people to know. And when people talk to me, they're like, okay, you make this look so much fun. Like what's the downside? I'm like, "Mm, there's not enough hours in the day. That's the downside. Um, you know, and so I just, I'm always getting people like, you just look so happy. And I'm like, I freaking am. I don't have to like brush my hair or like put on pants. Like it's amazing. So, um, you know, even if you're not a full-time beach body coach, um, just make it that it's interesting and it looks like it's fun and, you know, people will catch on to that. Facebook groups is another thing that I love getting coaches from. So, um, you know, same thing as your target market, figure it out on Facebook. Some of my target markets, um, groups I'm in are German shepherd owners. Um, I do local garage and yard sale sites on Facebook. I go through my closets all the time. I'm not, my mom is such a pack rat and it like bothers the crap out of me. I'm like, Oh, I have to get rid of stuff. I can't have it in here. So I do that all the time. Clothes, whatever. Um, and so what I do is when I post it, if anybody comments that they're interested, I add them as a friend and then I'm like, okay, I'll PM you. And I message them from there. Ah, uh, Okay. People in a yard sale site obviously like to buy stuff. And I have so many customers from the yard sale site and I have um, one coach from a yard sale site too. So it's honestly, that has been who, what are you doing? Stop it. (laughs) Um, I'm already easily distracted. No writing, please. Um, Okay. Yeah. So runners groups, clean eating runners groups, um, budgeting groups, Budgeting groups are kind of tricky because they're like, oh, I got seven cheese sandwiches for my kids this week from the dollar store. Like, so they're not always your target market, but you know, you never know. Um, DIY groups, holistic health groups. So that's just a um, couple of examples. And I just screenshotted this from my, I think this was my clean eating runners group. We share recipes all the time. And (laughs) then, um, you know, you can see my comment. I was just kind of like, oh, you know, um, what is this other group? Add me to that, please. So I'm always trying to interact with people there. Okay. So once you're in a group, say you got into this yard sale group, you're all excited. There's 700 new people you're available to. If you just slap a join my 21 day fix challenge post, like they're going to delete you. They're going to block you and people are going to hate on you because that's illegal. Like you're not allowed to do it. If you would read the guidelines, they don't want you to do it. It's spamming the group. It's sleazy. Um, same thing. OMG, I'm down 14 pounds and show your transformation photo. Ask me how they're not going to like it. They're going to delete you or, you know, you know, just, it's not good. That's not what those groups are for. If you're in there for yard sale, it is the point in there is to buy and sell for yard sale. You make conversations with them, make connections, take it to a private message. You're not selling stuff in those groups. Um, Let's see. Oh yeah. And depending on what your group, you're going to ask questions pertaining to the group. So say it was in a holistic health group. And even if you didn't really have that question, you know, Hey, I currently use coconut oil for, um, my makeup remover and I melt it on my dog's food, but I'm just curious, what do you guys use it for? Get those people to answer and interact with them. It doesn't even mean like I make up questions all the time. It's not something that I'm like, I could easily Google or something, you know? So, um, but I'm just interacting. And with those people, if they post, I'm interacting, answering their questions, talking to them and building relationships. So then I can friend them and they can see my posts otherwise. Um, just don't be like foaming at the mouth. As soon as they add you as a friend, throw 21 day fix down their throat. I just really focus on building relationships. And yes, it takes a little bit longer, but people want to say yes. If you would just throw it at them, they're going to be like, Oh, most, unless like some people will say yes, but most people will be like, good, thanks. And then they're going to be like, delete. So I would rather form these relationships slowly and have somebody trust me and want to be a part of it. (laughs) Perfect example. I got this message the other day. Um, I, I'm also in a Charlotte mom's group when I'm not a mom, but I do babysit. So I joined that group and I made a post about babysitting. Um, and so she was like, hi, da, 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 you're the environment group, da, da, da. like join my rodent and fields. And I'm just like, yes, thanks. My day was a good thing too. Thanks for asking. Like, just sign me up right now. Like, does this work for anybody? I'm just confused. So yeah, just wanted to, sorry, Jackie, I just uh, put you on blast there. What not to do. Um, 
Okay, so that's that was Facebook, and now how to turn cold leads into coaches. So these are people um, like you know maybe Instagram. Somebody added you to Facebook, um, or one of your free leads got added you to Facebook, and then you're going to start talking to them. So. Or these are going to be people that are referred to you. So I have a lot of people that will be like, oh, you know, I, coaching is really just not for me. I just don't want to take it on after me asking them, asking them, asking them. And they're going to send me referrals for coaches. So um, those people I would consider a cold lead too because I don't really know them. So you're going to build relationships with them. If you haven't noticed yet, that's like my biggest thing is just like making somebody into a friend before you make them into a coach. Um, Get them into your free groups. Uh, I, our free group we run every month is a 30-day exercise group. It starts the first of every month. We start a new group each month. Um, the first Monday of the month, we do a free seven-day clean eating group. The second Monday of the month, we do a five-day coach sneak peek. Um, everyone, like this um, next Monday, we're doing a Beachbody On Demand clubhouse for all our Beachbody On Demand members. So we've got a ton of stuff. Um, always going on. So just, um, if you don't have a free group, just grab three coaches and start one. If it's seven days, if it's two weeks, if it's, you know, a seven day, um, water challenge where you're drinking more water, it's not hard. You don't have to make it like, Oh my gosh, I, I can't run a challenge group. Like you take pictures of your food, your water, and you post and you encourage people. That's it. Um, so free groups are amazing. You can make them sign up for the free player membership first. So they're automatically your coach. And um, then I'm going to get them in there and I'm going to interact with them. Um, once I'm in there, I'm, once they're in there, I, on my spreadsheet, I have what, when I added them to the date and then I can check on them, like what date I want to follow up with them. So um, it makes it easy. Once they're in my exercise group, it makes it so easy for me to be like, Hey, how's your workout going? Like, Oh my gosh, I accidentally have three days to make up for. How about you? So then you're already able to talk about workouts. Like if you didn't know anybody and you just said, Hey, how are your workouts going? They might be like, good. Why do you care? So it's just an icebreaker into being able to talk about that. Um, I talk to them about their goals. I talk to them about their struggles. You know, is it fitness or nutrition? What are you struggling most with? Um, and make emotional connections. If I know that they have a black dress in their closet that they want to be able to fit into by their anniversary, I'm going to say, take a picture of that, put it on your freaking, um, mirror, you know, um, bathroom mirror, and we're going to get you into that dress. So I'm able to make that emotional connection with them. Um, and invite after all of that with a message like this. Um, so this was a message I sent like this, uh, yesterday to somebody. So just kind of, this was somebody that was in our free exercise group. So, um, focusing on turning her into a client before a coach this route, but it's still, it still works really well. Like usually the second month they're signing on for a coach. So, Hey girl, how are things going? I hope you're loving our free exercise group. I have two days to make up today. Ha ha. How about you? Um, since you're wanting to improve your fitness, I was wondering if you'd be interested in joining our next fitness and nutrition boot camp. We're starting August 17th. I provide the meal plans, the workouts, the portion control containers, and the motivation. I'm also mailing out free shaker cups to all my August, oh, whoops, August 17th boot campers as an extra thanks for being a rock star. Would you want to find out if it's for you or not? So totally no pressure, just like, hey, is that for you? Is that cool? Every single person said, yeah, oh, just tell me a little bit more about it. They're not going to be like, no, go away, you stupid freak. They're, they're not going to do that. So um, every single person, and I, I sent that to four, six people um, Monday, and I think I had three of them sign up. So, um, you know, it was just really easy, like, entry into saying, you know, hey, let's talk about this. And then this month, I'm going to be talking to them about their Shakeology, how, what their favorite recipe is, asking them how the 21 is. And next month, I, you know, but before the end of the month, before their next Shakeology comes up, I'm going to be talking to them about coaching, getting their Shakeology, the discount, things like that. So they will become coaches. Um, and then just go for the ask. And this is the same thing. This is a, this is a customer route, but I just, I, I have a really good success. And anybody that if you make a good experience for your customer, they're going to want to come back and be a coach. Um, so I take a lot of pride in my challenge groups. I take a lot of pride in individually checking in. Um, one woman recently has been having a lot of health issues. I literally text her every day and I didn't today. And she was like, Oh my gosh, I miss not waking up to your text. Can I, can, and she's a local customer. She's like, can we get together? I need some April sunshine. So we made a, a lunch date for, um, next week. 
And that's the kind of relationship that I choose to have with my clients because I want them to want to be part of our team. Um, okay, so this is basically just another message. Um, I post a lot of size videos. And so if you're working out, I, I encourage you to post videos of yourself doing it. You can, you can record it yourself, to just pop it up with a book. You don't have to even edit it. But that way then, so with size, I make a bunch of videos and she was like, no, I haven't really seen it. So I went back and I tagged her in all my videos and she was like, oh my gosh, that looks like so much fun. I want to sign up. So, um, you know, taking pictures of the, vid the exercise itself is really awesome. It's really helpful. Um, we also have a size group where we're running contests. Um, so that the people that post themselves doing their workout, they get entered into a contest and they win a couple of shake Shakeology samples. So everybody is always posting videos of themselves sizing. And we're like, dude, do you see we all look like flailing monkeys in our living room? Like, don't be worried about it. And it's so cool. People that you would never think in a million years would post a video of themselves like, sizing all over the place are all doing it and it's so cool they're all supporting each other um and so that is the kind of community that you want to connect people with um <clears throat> okay so this is the biggest thing ask them or somebody else will don't be afraid to ask people because i have a ton of people that i was afraid to ask and their beach body coach is under another coach that's um a from where I grew up, I grew up in the Pittsburgh area, and she just has so many people that I thought when I first signed on, like, they would be awesome, but I'm just not really a good coach yet. I can't ask her about it, and they're all being rock stars on her team, so don't wait. If they say no, who freaking cares? It doesn't matter if you signed on yesterday. If you can hit Emerald by asking 10 people to join you, like, if you don't know what you're doing, I tell my coaches like, Hey, I don't even really know what I'm doing yet, but it's so much fun. And these girls that I'm, I'm coaching with are, are just awesome. Like it's so fun. And I'm, you know, you're able to make some money from your couch and you know, you're just helping people. You're just being a virtual cheerleader. Would you be interested in seeing if we should do this together? And I tell people like, just tell people you don't even know what you're doing yet and just ask them and then we'll send them the business presentation and they can watch it and see if it's for them or not. So that's basically what it, I, I'm going to have you compliment them. I don't know if this is for you or not. Um, you know, and then basically just saying, if I would you from, you know, Eric or if I were to send you a short video describing what I do as a coach better than I can, would you be interested in checking it out? No pressure either way, but I just know you'll be a rock star and I just have to ask you. So, um, that's kind of like a really similar line that I use with everybody. Um, and then local coaches. So uh, this scared the crap out of me for a really long time. I remember my like Kelly's like upline, upline, upline is Ann Doble and she's amazing. She works a lot directly with, um, like corporate. She's a million in the millionaire club. She's amazing. And so she would tell us how she would talk to people in the grocery store and we'd be like, no, this woman is crazy. Like she would be like telling us to tell our story to people in like the cereal aisle. And I'm like, what? She's like, so have you ever thought about telling people about your eating disorder? And she's a little intense. I was like, I don't think that that's Walmart <laughs> topics. But, um, so she was telling us that she had her favorite checkout line person, like, and she even like invited one of her, like the Walmart greeners, greeters to like Easter at her house one year because she had been talking to him for five years. And we, I literally thought she was crazy. I was like, this woman is crazy and I'm never going to talk to people about Beachbody in the grocery store. And about a month ago, I, um, what was somebody doing? So I had a bunch of tomatoes or something and then I had something else and this guy, this like college kid, he's so cute. He was like, Oh my gosh, what do you like? What do you, I, all my tomatoes always go bad? I feel like I buy them because they're like healthy and then I never know what to do. And so I was like, Oh my gosh, I just made a pizza stuffed tomato. You have to try it. And so I gave him my card and I said, I have a bunch of free meal plans. I'll give you some recipes. Just add me to Facebook. And then he added me to Facebook. I got him in my free exercise group. He's adorable. He just, um, it's so cool that like, even though he's not a, a customer yet, it's so cool to be not afraid to help people and talk to people anywhere you go. So always carry your business cards. I always carry some Shakeology samples too. Um, I, at the dog park always, I've had, a, I have a ton of customers from the dog park because you, one, we love dogs automatically. There's an instant bond there. Um, every time I get my nails done, my hair done, I talk to people, um, other customers and I hand out my card. 
Um, I, I babysit a lot on the side, probably like once a week, once every other week. Um, it's just, I enjoy babysitting. It's just money I put toward debt. Um, and so it's kind of like a cool thing for me to be like, Oh, do you have any kids? Like, Oh, well I actually babysit, you know, here's my card. Um, that's my, my business. I do online health coaching, but there's my contact info. So, you know, if you ever need a sitter or anything, just let me know. And so that's like a really cool, like entry for me. I, I doesn't, it's not like, here's my card. I, you know, want to sell you something. It's, it's just like, Hey, I'd love to get in contact together. Um, I got my oil changed about a couple months ago and this guy was somehow we were talking about like losing weight da, 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 and I said, Oh my gosh. Well, like I, cause he was like at a desk job and stuff. And he said, I could totally help you with that. I actually have, I was, I have an extra shake allergy sample. Love this. Let me give you my favorite recipe and here's my card. I have a free meal plan. So just add me to Facebook and, um, we can chat there. And I do that all the time. Um, and it just comes off my tongue and it used to be so scary. So I just encourage you to talk to one person this week and give them your business card. And who cares if they think you're a freak of nature, who cares? You may never see them again. Just do it because it's amazing how many contacts I've made just by being like, Oh my gosh, add me on Facebook. I am addicted to social media. So you will always find me there. <laughs> um, and then I, it like the reason why free stuff is so cool is you can be like, I have a free meal plan and I have a free exercise group and I do a free clean eating group, you know, group, whatever you're doing free, that's your ticket for why are they just going to run to randomly add a, a random person to Facebook? Um, but you have that free stuff. And so that works. Um, and then what I also do is if I'm there face to face with person with, with somebody like at the dog park, I'm like, Oh, are you on Facebook? I, and I say, okay, what's your name on Facebook? Let me find you. I find them when they're sitting right then and there and I add them as a friend. So it's not like, here's my card, forget about it, lose it. And then forget about me. So I'm always going to do that in person. And basically anywhere you can find people breathing, that is where you should be talking to people about. Um, and not necessarily like I'm a beach buddy coach, just talking to them and trying to get in a way to be like, Oh, you should have me on Facebook. Um, okay. So now I talked about those people that just like aren't ready. Um, we do a five day coach sneak peek group. If you don't do this, um, just put together some videos. Um, you have a huge team, so you make it, you could each make a video. We do two posts a day. Um, and it's really cool. We used to use somebody else's and this time we all filmed our, we all filmed it individually. And it's such a big difference. Oh my gosh, people are interacting like crazy because it's us and not people we don't know. So do a five-day coach sneak peek group. I write down, I have a list of every coach prospect I talk to for the entire month. If they haven't pulled the trigger by that next coach pro coach sneak peek group, I'm an, I send them a message. I actually add them all. It, I kind of send the message in a way that's like, Hey, I'm just going to go ahead and add you. I know that you weren't interested in coaching, you know, at the time, but I just want you to get some information. So I'm just going to add you. We're going to have two posts a day and just kind of catch up. And if you have any questions, just ask me there. I really don't even ask them. I just add them. Um, because sometimes if people like, I usually invite people Sunday night and I'm not going to wait for them to like get on Facebook and then be behind. So I do it in a way that they're just like, okay, cool. <laughs> um, Get on the phone with those people that are like having objections or just don't think they're good enough. Um, always. I get on the phone with them. I'm like, just let's just talk. Like, I don't care if you don't sign up, but let's just get on the phone together. Um, use the feel felt found method. Obviously, that always works. I totally understand how you feel. I felt the same way, but this is what I found. Um, always use testimonials from other coaches. Um, if somebody says I don't have the money, I'm like, whoa, girl, I had seven dollars in my bank account. Like I had like a three hundred dollar bill coming out the next day. Like I put it on the credit card because I knew it was worth it. Um, when people say I don't have the time, I have a coach that has five kids and runs her own business. I'm just like, no girl, if she can do it, you can do it. Trust me. So I always, always am using testimonies. Um, be real. Don't come across with a perfect life. Like I said earlier, people think that they can't do that. I don't go out telling people, Oh, I have my master's in clinical exercise physiology. I'm a registered clinical exercise physiologist. Um, I don't want people to think that that that's required. So I just try to act as real as down to earth. I tell people I was most confused. I don't try to hide the fact that, you know, I have to work really hard for everything. 
um, stuff like that. I want people to know that, um, you know, anybody can do this. So I felt like I was saying things a ton. And so these common objections I get, I just put them into, I just made them into 60 second YouTube videos and I uploaded them all into my YouTube channel. So I can easily be like, Oh girl, it doesn't matter that you think you're not fit enough. Check this out. Let me, let me, this just kind of sums it all up. So these are really cool because it's not like, Hey, watch this 10 minute video. They're literally like a minute or less. Um, so that's a really cool idea too. If you find yourself saying these objections a lot, put it into a video because videos are so powerful. Um, just be yourself. Um, and I basically summed up my last post with my obsession with Chipotle and guacamole because I don't even know how it started. I don't know when it started, but now I get tagged in like 17,000 Chipotle things a day and I just run with it. That shirt, um, somebody tagged in it, tagged me in it. So I bought it. Like <laughs> I just, I don't know, but that's apparently my target market. People know me as that. People know that I'm obsessed with German shepherds. I get tagged in German shepherd stuff all the time but that's instantly like you want people to see something and be like oh my gosh that makes me think of april you want somebody it's the same thing like i see something leopard print i'm like i have to tag michelle in this you know so like you want to have that brand that people know you for because that means that they're paying attention to you that means that like oh my gosh she's so cute like she she would love this that means that people are paying attention to you people don't pay attention to people that they don't like so people are not going to tag people that they don't like in things because it made them think of them for a bad way. So, um, yeah, so that was kind of all that I had. And I know there was a ton of information. I talk super fast and there's a ton of chat messages. I don't know. Just tell me what to do. April, <laughs> don't forget about referrals. Thank you. I knew I was going to forget about that. Um, Okay, so what I do with referrals is, like in our size group, I'm like, oh my gosh, who is having so much fun? Um, do you guys have anybody that you think that, like any friends that would want to do this with you? And so we've been doing this thing that we do a live size every Thursday night at 8.30, and we um, do the Beach Body On Demand, and we have people on, and then I'm we do the whole workout, and then at the end, when we size, I say, do you guys mind if I record you? And so you can still see the screen, and you can see us all sizing, and then I'm able to post that, like, okay, how freaking fun is this? Um, and so when I, when I do that, when I ask people, I'm like, okay, let's invite them. Let's all get on Thursday night. So I invite their friends to just try it free for size. That's been really effective. Um, the other thing is just... I tell people um, right off the bat, if they're not interested in coaching um, and they're giving me, I ask, I just ask them all the time, like, do you have any friends or families that could, you know, or anybody in your family that could benefit from this? Um, you know, I do a referral program, so I could give you, you know, $10 off your next order, or I'll give you, you know, free Shakeology samples, um, whatever. I always do some type of incentive because if they're going to send me somebody my way, I'm going to give them something. If somebody is sending me a ton of people, I'm like, well, girl, you need to be a coach. Um, and there's just some people that just, they're like, I have one girl that's probably given me five referrals. And one, she even like sent her my link that I sent her last time and added her to our like, challenge group. I was like, whoa, <laughs> you need to be a coach. But um, yeah, I just, I just, I'm always very honest. Like, I'm just so proud of you. I love that, you know, to see what this has done for you. Do you have anybody else that we could just, you know, help change their life that you'd want to invite? And that's all. Just and ask them if they have anybody that, you know, would want to join us. And a, lot, and a lot of them usually do. So thank you, Michelle. <laughs> that was awesome. Thanks, April. Yeah, no problem. We got us to like 109 people on this call. Woo! -hoo! That's crazy. Everyone wants to hear from you. Um, does anyone have any questions for April? We have time. We have like we have time for questions and answers. I know there were some questions on the chat. I was like, just ask her. I have a question, April. Yeah, do you, it's Bridget. Do you Hello. have? Um, do you do that size thing on Zoom? And how do people see the screen and see everybody at the same time? Um, you can't really see everybody. You can only kind of see like the four max. Okay. So I, when I'm recording, I can't. They can choose what they do for their screen. But I do a screen share of BOD, but then I, I make it so that it's only half the screen. And so then I have, they can have their people over there. I was just I curious because when, 
like I tried to screen share once like with a video before Beachbody on Demand came out and you can't do that. No. But I haven't tried it with Beachbody on Demand. So awesome. Thank yeah. You. It's a little slow. So what we've also done is you can hook your computer up to a, another computer or another TV with it on it. And that's better. Um, yeah, we, it's, you just have to play with it. You just have to tell people, well, it's not going to be perfect, but you get the idea. And if you want it to be a lot better then you should buy it and do it with it. So <laughs> All right. awesome. Thank you. Uh huh. I have a question. So when you are doing all these free, like clean eating groups and you add people to them, do you add, do you have them as a customer first or do you wait? Like, do you make them make a free account with you as your customer before they're in your clean eating group? Usually that's what you should do. There's plenty of times where I just get people in and then I have to go back and do it. Um, but it's definitely best if you do it, um, ahead of time. Um, basically I just say like, Hey, um, Absolutely. Uh, and I, I check to make sure I'm just like, I just want to make sure that you're not um, working with another coach because I don't, I don't want to have somebody sign up for a free player membership and then be actively working for a coach too. So I like to know that, but yeah. So I basically just say, this is a cool place that I can kind of, um, you know, if I have a recipe, I find I can send it out to you that way. Awesome. Thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a question if that's okay. And I want to apologize for writing on the screen. I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> yourself. <laughs> um, okay, with the samples that that you that you do, because I have several people interested in, you know, just trying it first. Um, how much is a box to you know for the samples? Um, it's the same as your regular Shakeology. Okay. Um. I, I always get two boxes. Um, I get a bag for me and then I get a box and my husband um, doesn't really drink Shakeology. But I, um, so I will probably um, switch to like Boost or Performance Line and stuff under his account. But I always have a plethora um, of it. And for the most part, I don't give away samples. I, I give away, if I'm out with somebody, they have to like really seem like there'd be somebody that wants it. I'm not just like, here, you have a sample, you have a sample, you have a sample. Um, right. And if somebody, um, this is like August is team cup. So I'm being a little bit more generous just to try to get people on board because I love free stuff. Um, but normally I'm always like, okay, well, I would love to, you know, give it to you, but unfortunately I'd be losing a small fortune. So if you don't mind just, you know, um, bring in $5, um, you know, then I'll just bring you a sample and people are like, Oh girl, I totally understand. People don't want to put you in the hole. So when you just kind of say like, I'd love to give it to you, but I'd be losing a small fortune if I gave everybody a sample, they're like, no, that's fine. I'll bring you $5. Okay. Thank you. Mm hmm. I have a question. Yeah. That was, that was really, really good. That was awesome. Thanks Thank for getting you. on the call. Uh, yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> I don't know if you're going to know this off the top of your head, but percentage wise, the coaches you sign up, what percentage of them would you say like have gone through a challenge group first or um, one of your free groups or maybe both? I was curious if you sign up people that as coaches that haven't done either of those. And if you do like how many of them? What percentage? Um, I do. Um, those are like the people that this is how I was. I messaged Kelly. I wanted to know more. I watched the webinar. I signed up that night. So I do attract a lot of people like that. Um, not a lot, not a lot, but um, there's plenty of people that I don't add to another group. I talk to them for a day. We make a time to get on the phone together. We get on the phone together and then they sign up. Um, I would say probably it's, it's probably not much 15 to 20% are in, um, a group first. Um, I don't know. Percentages are so hard. I guess it's hard to think about, but a lot of, a lot of people I get, if I, they add me to, in, to Facebook from Instagram, they're really interested in the coaching opportunity. We get on the phone, we talk, they watch a video and they're usually signing up in, in like that week span. If they're not signing up that time, but we're on the phone, I'm going to give them more. Um, and then I'm going to add them to our free groups. Then I'm going to add them to our coach sneak peek and stuff like that. But a, a good amount that really want it, that are interested in it, 
um, are just going to sign up like that week and I don't need to, to get them into the free group. Cool. I, also, I got a question for you too. Um, so when you had a job, how many hours were you um, working the business um, before, um, you know, each day would you say clocking in averagely? Okay. So I drove um, like 45 minutes to an hour to work. So that 45 minutes to an hour, I was listening to my personal development. Um, the night before, I wrote out my um, uh, five people I was going to reach out to, and I wrote down my five people I was going to follow up with and the three people I was going to talk to about coaching in my planner. So then when I was on my lunch break, I sent those 13 messages and would try to follow up with them if I got a break at work here and there. And then on the way home, I was either doing more personal development or usually getting on the phone with a coach prospect or a customer, potential customer or a current coach. So I used every like hour that I had a break um, towards Beachbody. So that was about, say, two hours right there, but that was like driving and stuff. Um, and then I probably spent um, towards like the time, like the middle, like probably like four or five months in when I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to take this thing. I was probably working another two to three hours a night. That's, that's fantastic. I love the dedication. What, what, uh, what, <laughs> other, what but yeah. <laughs> video before that you were just talking about the video, which video is the, like the go-to video to send to people to talk to them, kind of explain about um, what coaching is and whatnot. Oh, um, we have a video. I actually, that's on my to-do list this week to film my own to send people. I use one that my coach Kelly has put together. It's called, um, what is coaching webinar? Um, and it's on her YouTube channel. Um, but always, always, if you could get something that's more so you, like if you're a guy, you may not want to send like, Oh, here's Kelly that I don't really know you should check her out and see what she has to say. So I would think that you guys as a team, if you could put something together, it would be amazing because it's going to be more so directed towards your target market. Um, but that's what I do. There's also, there was a 20 minute Christine Dwyer video that I really liked. And I think it's like not there on YouTube anymore. Um, there's also the seven minute beach body video, but I send everybody Kelly's video and it's 45 minutes long. And if they're not going to put in 45 minutes to watch it, I don't want you on my team. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. So once you add people from Instagram to Facebook and then I'm assuming you keep building the relationship there, at what point do you talk to them about coaching? Or I, I guess it depends what they've added me for. If they've added me to ask me about coaching right away, um, if they've added me, they usually will add me because of some post I've made. Otherwise, if it was me just kind of messaging them, hey, well, you should add me to Facebook, I kind of just like, so tell me about you. Like, where are you from? Like, what do you like to do? Um, and then I'll usually everybody I follow is somewhat type, some type of thing about fitness or something. I'm like, Oh, I saw like you ran, like do you run a lot? Da, da, da. So I'm going to try to talk to them about fitness. And so I'm going to gauge whether they're going to be a customer or they're going to be a coach. Um, so you don't necessarily ask everyone. What? So you don't necessarily like talk to everyone about being a customer or coach. I do, but I get them in the free group first. I don't talk to them about anybody that first gets into Unless it's coaching, coaching is different because they usually come to me for coaching. But customers, if they come to me and ask me, you know, they add me to Facebook, I'm going to ask them questions, ask them about their struggles, their goals, and I'm going to put them in the free group. And then like three days later, I'm going to follow up with them. And that's that message I sent, you know, hey, like, oh my gosh, I have two days to catch up on, you know, I don't know if you're interested, but we have a three week fitness and nutrition boot camp going kind of thing. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Can I start calling my 21 day challenge groups, 21 day boot camps? Is that cool with you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah I've that that forever. I just, I'm not a uh, beach body name dropper. I usually say 21 day fitness and nutrition boot camp. I usually say, um, nutrient dense meal replacement shake. Um, I've just kind of always done that. Some every once in a while I'll say shakeology. I'm not like hiding that I'm a beach body coach, but that's just kind of how Kelly always was. And I, I just, I like it better that way because I, it just kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies when people are like pushing their stock 21 day fix photos and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. And when you don't say 21 day fix, people are going to be like, oh, so tell me more about your boot camp. 
like people may have already heard about 21 day fix may have, you know, think, Oh, it's too expensive. I don't need to do that. So it kind of also makes them want to ask you more questions about it. Cool. Can you repeat what you said uh, to move the conversation from Instagram to Facebook? Kind of like an example, how you would like, once you've connected with someone on Instagram, how you would go mm -hmm. about like getting them to connect with you or you connecting with them on Facebook, like what you would comment on their Instagram <laughs> photo. Um, I literally say I like a bunch of their photos and I comment on a bunch of their photos, asking them open ended questions. And then I say, I'll comment on like their latest one or something. And I'll be like, Oh my gosh, girl, I just stalked the crap out of you. I love your post. Um, are you on Facebook? Cause I feel like we would be, we have so much in common and I just leave it at that. And they like laugh. They're like, stalk away girl, you know? Um, and then they usually find me on Facebook. Cool. So they're, they're the ones that are like sending the friend requests. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then like once you guys are friends on Facebook, then you kind of just like pick up the conversation where it left off for a while. Before mm -hmm. you yep. And then that's where I kind of dive into finding out more about them, their goals, where they live, what they do for work. Do they have a family? Stuff like that. Cool. And then maybe you would start with the free group before you would talk about the 21 day boot camp. Or is it yeah. Kind of um, but some people like will ask about it. So if they don't ask about it, then I go with the free group and then I follow up in a couple of days and I invite them to the 21 day fix. But just, it's the biggest thing is just inviting them in a way that it's no big deal if they say no. Right. Yeah. Cool. Do you say like anything like, um, Hey, like let's do this together. Like, Hey, when are we going to do a 21 day boot camp together? Versus like, hey, I'm doing a 21 day challenge that like, do you want to buy something? You know what I mean? Like, it's more like, let's do this together versus you go do this. Yeah, I always, always, I'm like, dude, I need to get back on track. So I'm starting the 17th. We should totally keep each other accountable every time. Love it. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, all right. Michelle, did you have anything else? Um, nope. I'm good. I think April did a great job. I took a lot of notes. Seriously, Yay. that was awesome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you a lot. I'll, uh, yeah. I'm going to upload it to YouTube, so we'll have the recording. I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll be watching this for, for a while. Awesome. Um, thank you. Yeah, just um, send it to me in a message, um, Michelle or whoever, so I can yeah. put it on mine too. Cool. You got it. Cool. All right, April. Thanks so much. We always no problem. We thanks, things, guys. Like, uh, we do like a one, two, three kind of boom at the end. <laughs> um, so you get to be a part of it if you want. <laughs> okay. Michelle, you get to leave. Oh, All right, guys, ready? One. You guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.